So today we're going to learn how to do an active stand test. We have a nice subject with Phil. And if you are at home doing this, what we'd like you to prepare is a sheet, which we have in the side just here. And this sheet will tell you how to write in rows and columns your blood pressure when you're seated and then when you're standing. So let's demonstrate. What you will need for this to bring to your doctor is a blood pressure machine. And we always recommend an upper arm cuff blood pressure machine. So this is something which looks a bit like this. And this particular model is an Omron. And we have a cuff that I'll ask Phil to put his left hand, can be any hand. And we'll put it across the upper arm like this, nice and tight. And Phil is now asked to sit down, nice and relaxed, with his legs uncrossed, both legs on the floor. And what we would then suggest is we then start taking a measurement. So typically with this upper arm cuffs, ideally somebody else is pressing the button so Phil doesn't have to move his hand to reach out. And you can see it's starting to inflate and give a number. And this is a process of getting a seated blood pressure. And we would like you to do at least three, if not five such readings over a period of three to five minutes. So what we do is we repeatedly take these blood pressure measurement values and we would write it down on the previously prepared uh, lined paper where we have the grid to fill in. So this would be the first seated position blood pressure, which is BP1 seated position, will ask Phil how he feels. And you realize that Phil is not really speaking or doing very much. So the first blood pressure we can see there, we'll record it, the systolic, the diastolic, and the pulse rate. And right now we'll just write in the comment section seated. We then do it again, and we inflate it again two more times, just to make sure that the first reading is not an overreading. So sometimes if you're anxious or you've just come away from doing something very busy and you just sat down, your blood pressure may be an overreading. So we'll do it again, we'll let it come down, and then we'll take this and then the next reading or the next three readings to get five while seated. <clears throat> and this is a way to also get yourself nice and calm, slow breathing not really doing much with somebody pressing the buttons. Ideally not you, but if you have to do it, if you're alone at home, then you just simply reach out and press the start stop button and write down these values as they appear live. Now, the next bit of the procedure is like that. So assume we've done three or five of this. We've written the lines and we've said seated one, seated two, seated three. Now I'm gonna ask Phil to stand up. And this is how we do a standing test. So you recognize when he stands up, I'm just going to click the button. And Phil is standing with the legs shoulder width apart, hands by his side. And importantly, not fidgeting his legs. So he's not moving his legs. He's not bouncing his legs. And even if he feels unwell, he's going to try not to mobilize or move his legs. And he's going to say to the person helping him, are you feeling anything, Phil? At the moment? No. No. So we're going to say standing minute one, no symptoms. We're going to wait for this <coughs> device to record the blood pressure. And you can see it typically takes 45 seconds or so, depending on the machine, to come to a stable value. And what we will do is we'll record in the standing row the value of the blood pressure. And this is minute one. And then with still standing exactly as he is, we'll just do it again. And for an active stand test, we can speed through, we're going to speed through this, we're not going to wait for the whole thing, but we'll repeat this process with Phil standing exactly as he is, without fidgeting, and write down the systolic, which is the high blood pressure reading, diastolic, the low blood pressure reading, and the pulse rate, and in the fourth column, we write down symptoms. So in this particular instance, no symptoms throughout seated positions, and no symptoms as far as the first two are concerned. When you've carried it out, the whole uh, process, taking a full, let's say, seven to 10 minutes for the whole program, then you fill in the chart, which we will have uh, printed as a PDF uh, that you can download, and fill in that chart, take it to your doctor, and can be a very useful thing to help with the diagnosis of uh, orthostatic intolerance symptoms, including dysautonomic symptoms. Thank you.